YouTube was good, Chavis Crew was happening. What's the Chavis Crew, my family? You guys are an extension of that. I'm back with another video for you guys today, sharing this early banger with y'all, man, about a dope shoe that I'm so much looking forward to, and I'm pretty sure you are too. And if you're not, I'm going to show you why you should be interested in this shoe. Before we get started today, man, I want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new day, a new opportunity to continue to do what you've called me to do. I'm so blessed. I'm so humbled, so thankful. Um, if you see anything good in my life, see anything good happening to me, know that it came from above. All the glory, all the honor, and all the praise goes to God. Shout out to God, first and foremost. If you're new to this channel, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Tap in. Join the Chavis crew, man. Alive is the latest. I bring y'all early reviews, other dope content, NBA content, uh, all different type of things that I do. And, you know, all the cool things going on in my life, man. I got a lot of things going on. I've met a lot of people, met some NBA players. Um, man, I just, just sub up, man. Trust and believe there's so much more dope content coming soon. Exciting, dope, different basketball mixed with fashion man which is which what my life which is what my life is revolved around man so y'all make sure y'all tap in hit that subscribe button if you see this video you on this video you're watching this video right now hit that like button man it goes a long way for the algorithm to push my videos out there to more people so y'all please continue to show that love chavis crew i love y'all i appreciate y'all all right, man, we got all the business out of the way, and I'm not here to waste your time. I'm not here to talk you to death, so let's get into the kicks, man. Y'all see the box. You already know what time it is. The label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Metallic Gold Black. Size 12. You already know the vibes. They're going to tag for y'all. Um, suggested retail is $170. Dollars, man. Yeah, man, we're gonna get right into these things. You feel me? Let y'all, let y'all, let me let y'all see it with your boy, man. Let y'all see it with your boy, man. Whoo-wee! The Air Jordan 1 Black Metallic Gold. <laughs> Just from first glance, um, this shoe is everything I thought it was going to be. Um, everything it looks like online, it pretty much is that. And I really feel like this shoe is extremely dope and definitely one of my favorite Jordan 1s of the year so far. Well, these guys will be releasing November 30th, Cyber Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these here are a blend between the Black Metallic Mid from 2003 as well as a black metallic OG high that had a, a white midsole. And I think it was like a gum bottom um, that dropped in 2013, man. So um, that's where this shoe kind of derives from, kind of a blend between those two. And I think out of the three, these are the best ones. It's an OG high. It's more similar to the, the mid that came out with the black and gold, but it, didn't, it just didn't have these gold hits here that the upper on the one in 2013 had on them. If you know Jordan 1s, you know patent leather Jordan 1s do numbers, man. So even if you don't like it, I would say grab it, hold on to it. It may not go up instantly, but it's definitely going to go up. I think the uh, ones with the, the ones that came in 2013, the, the black gold metallic joints, them joints going for like two bands on StockX. 
and the mids from 2003 are going for at least at the least eight hundred dollars man so um and if you notice like even the trend last year um with the fearless jordan ones the unc to chicago joints they started off slow started off slow now they about 350 370 i've seen some go for 400 so you know you can't sleep on patent leather jordan ones man you just can't sleep and these guys are one of my favorite Jordan 1s, man, of the year for sure. Um, I love different shoes. I love flexible shoes. I love shoes that um, just are just different, man. Like, I, I'm I'm kind of getting uh, worn out of the OGs, man. Like, all the OGs that they have been dropping. Like, I've seen that before. Like, I need something new, something fresh, something different. And we haven't seen these ever, really, not in a, a OG high form. So, I'm definitely, I was definitely excited to have these in hand for sure. And if you never had a pair of Jordan 1 High OGs in an all patent leather, um, with all patent leather material, um, I would say, well, for me, I went true to size because, you know, my feet are narrow, my feet are slim. Um, so, you know, the tightness of the patent leather doesn't really do, like, have that effect on my feet. But if you have wider feet, uh, I would suggest you to go a half size up. If you have these shoes, you know they fit a tad bit snug. They don't have as much give um, as the as a, a traditional leather Jordan 1 does. So, you know, I would say for me, I went true to size. But for you, it depends on your foot. If you have a narrow foot, I would say go true to size. If you have a more wide foot and you want a more comfortable shoe, it just depends on how you want your shoe to fit. And I know, you know, everybody's feet are different. But, you know, just trying to give you guys a heads up on the sizing for these guys. All right, guys, so let's go through a quick review, quick rundown of this shoe. Um, we're gonna start off with your outer sole, typical black outer sole that you have on the Jordan 1 Nike here in the middle with the swoosh. Then you seep up into your midsole, which I really like that black midsole with these. I think it, it gives it a whole different look as opposed to the ones that came out in 2013. I did not like the white midsole on those. Like, I don't think the black patent leather with the white midsole with the gum bottom look right to me. I think it, the colors just didn't fit right to me. So I love this black outsole and midsole. And then you got the gold stitching, which I think is dope. Kind of resembles a, a Doc Martin, which is pretty cool, man. Resembles it, but not necessarily looking exactly like it. Um, but I just think it was a, a, a dope touch to kind of, you know, break some of that black up. Um, and then you got that mostly black patent leather upper that I really like a lot. That shine is going to look crazy on feet. And then we have our gold swoosh, our gold little accents here and up on the heel, um, as well as our gold um, Air Jordan Wings logo, man. So um, I just think this is a dope, clean shoe, man, that you can really dress up, dress down. You can wear, you can wear it from, you know, in the summertime with some shorts all the way to a wedding, man. So, you know, I, I don't think you can go wrong with these shoes. And like I said, if you necessarily don't really want these shoes, I would say go for them, hold on to them. They will shoot up in value. And also um, another dope touch that I like, you know, we got an extra set of laces. If you know me, you know how important having an extra set, set of laces is for me. Um, got them gold laces in this lace lock bag right here. Um, yeah, man, I really think this is a dope shoe. Y'all make sure y'all sound off in the comments below and let me know how y'all feel about them. Yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. I appreciate the continued love and support that you guys show to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you made it all the way this far in the video, I salute to you, man. You a real member of the Chavis crew. But other than that, y'all know the slogan. God is love. God loves you. I love you. Save his crew.